there really is no drone with this exhaust. There's none of that annoying reverberating echo in the cabin with this exhaust. The only time I hear anything close to a drone is right now. Right now in four cylinder mode, I'm traveling 75 kilometers an hour. And I'm not sure if I would call this a drone. It's more like a little uh, hum. It's kind of like a little rumble that I can hear in the back. But nothing that really would, would bother me at all. And it's not that loud at all. Uh, you can easily have a conversation. It's not drowning whatsoever. And right now in eight cylinder mode, and again, going from four to eight, there really isn't much difference. So now I'm back and four, and it sounds pretty much the same. I really can't tell when it goes from eight to four and vice versa. So that's one of the things I really like about this exhaust. Uh, 2M calls it a touring version and I think it's because they've got the built-in resonators that are perforate on the inside and I, I think it muffles out some of that drone but there really isn't a whole lot of drone with this car at all I don't think there's any drone really it just sounds amazing and the deceleration burbles like I don't know if you catch it on film but it just sounds really good and then when you step on it man, it just sounds so good best of all no check engine light no drone not only that it makes additional sounds which this car didn't used to make so for example on startup it makes this kind of a burble noise which is really nice and i never heard that before on this car and when you're decelerating those those burbles those low frequency burbles they're they're amplified before the only way I could hear them is by rolling down the window, but I can hear them clearly with the windows up. Okay, so right now I'm doing 77 kilometers an hour, four cylinders. This is probably the worst it gets. So what you're hearing right now is probably the worst, if you would even call this a drone. I don't think this is a drone, but this is the worst. This is literally just a rumble noise that I'm hearing in the back, that's it. And best part on the highway when you're cruising like 60 miles per hour there's like no drone at all I don't think it's a drone I, I just hear this humming noise uh, coming from the exhaust it's not a reverberating echo uh, sound in the cabin so it's not really drone so I would say this is a drone free exhaust so if drone is your concern um, you know this this exhaust I think will definitely make you happy it's not gonna bother you like I, it doesn't bother me one bit at all it just sounds just incredible like everything about it here I'll go in manual mode
I, it actually sounds pretty good. Like there's no echo. I could easily drive this all day with hearing that little hum back there. Mm-hmm. 
sounds like an exotic car, honestly. that pop this is what I mean those sounds like those pops and burbles they're just amplified now whereas before you could barely hear them but now it just like all the time yeah I don't know if you're catching it on camera but those deceleration burbles those burbles when you decelerate like it's really profound now and when it changes gears it's like that loud pop super aggressive I'm absolutely 100% happy with this again this is track so it's a little loud but if you want to quiet it down just go to touring that's perfect Right now I'm touring. I don't know if you caught that, it was a little kid waving at me. This car has the supercar looks and the supercar performance, but what it was lacking was that supercar noise, and now it has it. This 2M fabrication is absolutely amazing. I would rate this exhaust a 9.5 out of 10. It's that good. The factory exhaust, I would probably give that a 5.3 and the NPP performance exhaust a 5.8. This is a huge improvement. I would give this exhaust easily 9.5. Like it's that good. Thank you.